Hello and welcome to part 9 of Rex Explores Desktop Dungeons. We're going to continue our adventuring. I think we just recently bought the Assassin to unlock the more gold option. It's been a week. I'm not too sure. Quest unlocked. Search for the witch. Rumors abound of a witch who lives in the frozen east. Kingdom suppliers have been told that she can craft incredible and delicious potions. Explore sub-dungeons in the east to find the witch. Search for the witch, check sub-dungeons. I think it's a passive thing. So this would be an east dungeon if we did it. There might be a chance that we actually find the witch. So deep freeze needs to be done with the monk. I don't have the monk yet. Needs to be done with the wizard and sorcerer. Ah, let's, let's do beginner's brigade. Let's just do a nice easy one. We'll go with a thief, seeing as he gets bonus to damage. And then either human or orc. 30% of base damage might be more than a constant 10% of my current damage. So we'll go with the orc, we'll pick up the sword, and we'll get bet on boss. Gets us more gold. So let's do this. There is a zombie. Or we can already kill it since we have the... 30% damage buff. There's another zombie. Just want to explore, hopefully find a level 2. There is one. It is saw. It's not. Alright, seems we're just going to explore. Tower deals magical damage. That mm, reduces it by 10%. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. That's definitely going to kill us. Wanna fight, we're gonna use this. Hopefully we get one that has two. That's great, that's what we actually wanted. We'll level up. See, that, that damage is just, it's insane. It deals 30% of the damage. Maybe we can get him. All right, there, three. It's close to being three, but not enough. It'll always hit me. But it seems we're off to a very good start. Just wish we could deal more damage here. It would unfortunately kill me that side. Uh, wanna fight? There we go. Got close. What I want to do is I'll hit it and then just pray that I summon it. I didn't. I think we just do that. Smack that zombie, it's going to die. And now with that zombie dead, we can explore a bit more. I do want to take damage. I just like wasting the tiles. Just because it tells me I've wasted tiles. I hate that. But, oh look, we have Torg again. He likes appearing. If you see my mouse like shake like that, it's not anything I have. It's just a weird effect of the mouse. It's kind of sad as it's a really expensive mouse. There must be something wrong with the LED lighting or something. Pendant of health might come in useful. I think we're just going to summon a few level threes. Ooh, what's this? Destroy a wall. We're going to melt it. We don't, we don't really need it. We can't one-hit them anymore, that's sad. Let's head down into the sub-dungeon. It is a gnome. Hello? Dearest adventurer, I'm so glad to see someone like you. I've not enough mana to sustain me and have left all my potions at home. Please help me, lest the essence of my very soul fade away completely. I'll make it worth your while. I have gold, unique talents, and a pretty accurate estimate of how much my life is worth in standard currency. I'm sure we can give him a potion. Do we have enough potion to give? Oh, thank you so much. I'm momentarily in your debt. Huh, momentarily. Allow me to rest you just a little longer. I'll follow you out to the dungeon when you leave. Please don't die, as I'll have trouble getting out on my own. The map I brought at Calligraphy for ye hasn't served me very well. Alright, we found the gnome. 
Woo, no. I wish we could kill these things, but... Uh, it's very... Uh, don't want to waste any of these precious, precious power-ups just yet. Because they'll kill me. And I really don't want that. It should help. Please tell me it's enough. Yes, it is. All right, good. <laughs> that would have just been sad. Can I kill you in two hits? Can you kill me? Do you do two more than 20? You don't. We can do this. Nice. All right, we need to kill a thing. Nothing here is weak enough to be killed. If only we had first strike. It's a really crappy area to be in. I don't want to get talk just yet. Tell me you deal more damage. Good. We'll pick that up. Uh, need first strike of some sort. Can melt that for a bit more damage. Ah, fireball. It was either this or first strike. That'll kill me in one hit. I don't like it. Can we burn this guy? I think I need to hit him first. 16, that's not going to be enough, unfortunately. That's going to kill me in one hit. That'll kill me in one hit. I can definitely kill this guy. I want to hit him first. So I deal more damage, obviously. Because I deal more damage to him for full life. I can melt that. Still not enough. If only I had enough life to deal with this guy. Should be able to kill him. The uh, thing is... I need to level up. It doesn't help me picking this up. This thing. Yes, we'll buy that. Just to get enough life to kill him. So that's... One hit. Followed by two fireballs. There we go, nice. Some things... Yeah, I can... I can whack and burn. That doesn't really matter. As you can see, the mouse there was being a bit... finicky. Alright, I can now kill some things. Just not that thing. I can kill that thing, so let's do it. Don't want to overextend there. The boss is a Gorgon. Be a deer and strike a dashing pose, would you? I can start work on the heroic looking statue for you as soon as I get the hair out of my eyes. Yes, I know. I'd really ought to tie it back. Regards, Medusa. Now, she has a 100% death gaze. Which means, I think if I I'm not at 100% life, I die. So I'm gonna have to get tanky really quickly. Which is bad. Because unfortunately I don't think the thief gets very tanky. And there we go, just checking things. Everything seems fine. Now that with that done, we've leveled up, we're level 6. I'm still not sure I'll live. But at least we have Survivor. All health and mana potions restore both health and mana. So we're pretty much set. Is there any level 6s I can summon? Yes, there is. There's him. We can try go for the... Summon him to kill him for that one extra experience. Seem to have worked. Meat man. There's no way we're gonna kill him. 24, it's slightly not enough damage. We'll also lose some. Let's try now. 50. It'll just be enough to kill him. 24, 48, yes. So, one, fire, fire. The reason I'm attacking first is because I deal 30% extra damage. It's the only reason. I would have burned, but... Eh, oh look, another level 8 I can kill. And it'll level us up. 
which is a good thing. So one, fire, fire. I'm taking it slow. I don't want to risk dying to a misjudged uh, thingy on my end. So if I don't push F to, to summon the fireball, I'd probably die, which I don't want to do. Hmm. 30 more items. All right. And there's another level eight I can probably kill. Really want to go for this guy, but sadly it's a bit more damage than I can dish out. Now I think attack once, fireball, fireball. We'll try get some. All right, so it'll just be a mana burn first strike, but he'll take damage. That's that's fine. What we'll try do is what we did before, get close to the level cap, you know, level up. Hit the boss, then kill the level thing slower than me. For instance, the school, or the zombie. This will get me close enough, plus the zombie, I'll hit the boss, come back, hit that thing, level up, get as much as I go. Oh, I think we first get what we can. Or at least things at the edge of the map because the boss will regen we certainly don't want that to happen so let's just do a quick roundup of things all right do we have enough to explore i think we do one two the death gaze will kill me since i'm not at full life we explore as much as we can within a given realm of explore is this percentage based yes it's percentage so it doesn't matter if it was a fixed value i would have been worried does she deal magical damage no she doesn't i unfortunately do not have enough gold so this is what we'll do we'll hit once wow 190 damage damn uh we'll, so we'll hit once come and hit this guy I hope that's enough to level me up. It'll it'll get me to the number. There we go, nice. And then we come here. We'll burn. We'll win. And then I think we'll just explore. Because we can. We're a higher level than these guys, so we'll hit first. Just worried about the meat man. Ah, let's kill everything. I don't have enough mana. Well, we'll go for the meat man. Because we'll use mana to level up our health back, or to get our health back. And then we'll just burn. And win. And hopefully that's everything on the map. Seems like it. We'll come here and exit. And done. Fearless and unstoppable. Nice. And with that, we've unlocked the gnomes. Quest complete. Find the gnomes. You've made contact with the gnomes and invited them to in the bustling heart of your kingdom. If you help them settle in, I'm sure they'll repay you. They're actually rather fastidious that way. Play your cards right, and you may even find a use for their unique talent in adventuring. It's probably guck expensive. New, new trophy sold. Sold it for quite a bit. Nice. Gnome camp. The tiny community of gnomes seem to have sprung up almost overnight. A few businesses have been seen. Let's upgrade it. And get what does the gnome do? Race unlocked gnome. Puzzle unlocked. Hello gnomes. Gnomes get 90% mana for every conversion point. Uh, should we do the puzzle? Sure we can. Hello gnomes, soul orb. There's an old saying about this artifact, but no one can remember it. it. Provides mana burn immunity. I think we'll need that. If anything, the last boss showed us that we'll need it. Unlike some of the races you have played already, gnomes work by converting items into physical resources. Mana potions. Converting for a bonus potion doesn't have the lasting effect of other race bonuses, but they can help you spike one or two particularly important combat encounters. Use potions at the right time to maximize your efficiency. Okay, I'll barely win this. 
Uh, if we use get in there first. To do that, pick up Ender's Wall. Will I have to level up? I'm actually not sure. The boss has way too much life. I have death protection. One experience per kill. This will get me two level up. So what I think they want us to do is destroy a wall. Destroy that. Use the potion. Level up. One, two. It's poisonous. Let's hope we get the dodge. Barely alive. Death. Hmm. We might have to hit him once first. We really do not want the weakening blow. Five, I can only use it once. Okay, let's hit him first. I still live. We use the get in there, come through here, kill him, level up. Now he's got, you know, less health. I hope this works. Barely alive. Get in there. One. Nice. Done. Gnome Trial, can you manage your magical resources in a slightly more advanced scenario? Okay, we want to swap things. I think we swap the Warlock. Hmm, he's only got 20 health now. up in this wall hmm it's barely alive barely alive we have to level up How much damage will that do to me? 10. Alright, that was easier than I thought. Like, I thought it would be harder, but this one is probably the hardest. It goes easy, intermediate, and then you lose if you don't... Well, you have to beat them in a specific way, but this one is really hard. Surrounded on all sides, only the most cunning escape plan can save you now. Alright, we have where they went. I want to get the fireball, but... Mana potions might be more useful. And I want to see what that sign says, so we'll come here. Pick up the mana potions, it says... Bear in mind, hero, slowed monsters strike last and heal extra experience. You need to cast carefully if you hope to reach level 3. Hmm. I think we want this. So we'll come here. Pick up this. It's got mana burn. Hmm. Hey, they don't feel bad. Everyone dies in the middle. You try. And there's another sign, so. Try left, then clockwise. Okay. Try left then clockwise. Starts with level one of learning buff, one less experience instinct. Hmm. Hmm. 
No, it's not working. Hmm. That one said start left. Try top left, then clockwise. Do you see what I mean? The other two was like eh, easy. I think we need to use the potion so we'll have enough to deal four damage to this guy. I do, the thing is, I don't want to give up my death proof. So we'll do that. Win and level up. And I think we want to kill this guy next. So. It said clockwise, so we'll come here. Pick up these guys. Hmm. Burn to deal 8 damage. I have an idea, so, so let me just try it quick. I have no idea how I'm going to beat this guy. So then let's do that. Hit him once. Swap. What was that? Hit him once. Swap. Nah. That didn't work. Damn, I was sure it was close enough. <laughs>
he's almost dead and he'll retaliate so let's melt that what I really need is just swap this guy to get to there I deal more damage though but hmm. Do these give anything? Yes, they do. Okay, let's convert one. We get two. Okay, so let's do that. Come through here. Swap. I can still kill that guy in one hit. So let's pick them up. Kill that guy. Then do that. Swap. Kill that guy. Get to, to level three. I just need to hit this guy uh, three times. So one... Let's use it first. Two, three, swap, and done. Puzzle complete. Nice. Puzzle complete. Hello, nurse. Reward sold. That was, was pretty quick. The last one was just crappy because, you know, those ones are always hard. But yes, with that, you know, it was a little bit quicker than the previous episodes, but that I think I'll call this to an end. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time, guys.